If you're watching this video, we assume that you imported your fixed assets onto NetSuite, that you're using the fixed asset module. So you went for this and you actually either created, manually created the fixed assets here, or you actually imported them by going to setup, import, export, import as the records, choosing custom records and selecting F um, uh, fixed asset. Now, whenever you import your fixed assets, you're going to see the fixed asset here when you go to list assets. And this is all fine. They will have the right uh, original cost, the right netbook value, the right cumulative depreciation, etc. But the problem you are having is you're not seeing the cumulative depreciation or original asset cost on your balance sheet. Now, to do this, to see this on your balance sheet, you need first to import your journal your opening balances for these fixed assets uh, values uh, directly through journal entry. Now you can do it by going to transaction, financial, make journal entries, import, or you can also go to setup, import, export, uh, import CSV records, and then look for transactions and journal entry. Both will work. Now, don't forget that whenever you're using uh, NetSuite's fixed asset module, you have to make sure that um, the chart of account accounts are set correctly, meaning with the right uh, fixed asset or community of depreciation or uh, depreciation charge set against them. Now, once you've uh, imported these correctly, then not only are you going to be able to see your fixed assets on the fixed asset register, which is here, but you're also going to be able to see the values from the journal entry that you imported. Now, if you don't know how to import a journal entry, then there are uh, videos on YouTube for this. We can create one specifically for you. We created one uh, a few months back, well, actually a year ago, uh, on why there could be problems with importing your bank account uh, balances. So if you watch this video, you can have a good idea on uh, how actually to import these journal entries and the format to use. But in case you want something very specific to the fixed asset management import, then of course, let us know in the comment below. And if we have, let's say, over 100 people requesting it, then we can create this video to show you exactly how to import the fixed assets uh, journal values, so the balances of the fixed assets on that suite. I hope this video was useful to you. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.